Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be taking a look at the import-export amphibious vehicles in the form of the Blazer Aqua and the Technical Aqua so let's get right to the guide. So let's begin the video by talking about the Blazer. The Blazer at the price of 1.75 million non-discounted is a vehicle that can, as the name suggests, be driven on road, off road, no road. But then again I don't think you'd be watching this if that wasn't already apparent. So before we begin, let's take it to the mod shop, shall we? After modifying this vehicle, I noticed that out of all the vehicles in GTA Online, the Blazer seems to have the most noticeable effect on performance. Before tuning the engine, it's okay, but when you tune it to the max, this thing doesn't half belt it across the ground. The Blazer being a quad bike, along with its excellent acceleration and top speed, it also features great handling too. So in terms of getting around the city, there's not many vehicles that can compete. The Blazer comes equipped with two internal machine guns, which I gotta say is a really bad thing. The machine guns on the Blazer are like the ones on the Ruiner 2000. They only fire directly straight and they do very poor damage. What's worse is the fact that because the vehicle has inbuilt machine guns, it takes away your ability to use your standard drive-by weapons. So if someone happens to be chasing you from behind, you have no means of defending yourself. The Blazer is extremely fast both on land and water, but to allow the vehicle to get maximum speed speed when you're in the water, you have to switch from land to water mode. To do this, you hold down the headlight button to toggle it on and off. If you're travelling along rivers in this thing, it's a good idea to stick to land mode, so the vehicle isn't constantly bashing the rocks under you as you travel along. So that's pretty much the blazer covered, now let's take a look at the technical. If you're a fan of Top Gear, or just want to have a seaworthy vehicle with a mounted machine gun on the back, you can buy the Aqua Technical for just 1.5 million non-discounted. And I say if you're a Top Gear fan, because this vehicle, like a lot of other vehicles in this DLC, is ripped off of a vehicle that has appeared on Top Gear. Made by Jeremy Clarkson for a special episode of Top Gear, the Technical is an almost perfect rip-off of the featured vehicle which he called the Toy Boater, based off of a Toyota Hilux. So on land, the Technical is pretty good, it's got average acceleration, top speed, and is okay at handling too. To consider it a vehicle for racing though would be a rather silly decision, so let's just talk about its bonus features, shall we? For starters, no inbuilt machine guns on the front, which means that the driver and cab passenger can use their standard drive-by weapons when going about your day. Instead, the machine gun is on the back, which as you can imagine is very useful for taking out numerous hostiles at once as the machine gun is very powerful and can take down vehicles in just a few seconds. So already the technical is way better in terms of weaponry and drive-by capability than the Blazer Aqua. So let's now move on to its amphibious capabilities. As you can imagine, because the design of the technical is less hydrodynamic than the Blazer, the speed in which it cruises the waves is rather slow but it still manages to cruise at an acceptable speed, matching that of actual boats that are designed to go in the water. Going up and down rivers is also pretty fun too. So far I've never really got the thing stuck on any terrain that I've taken it on. So to summarize, both vehicles have a similar price, the Blazer is faster but it has terrible offensive capabilities and the Technical is rather the opposite. Slow but its offensive capabilities are very good. But let me know what you guys think about both vehicles in the comments and hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Iron Gaming Channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!